Hello everyone, this is Chris with Sick Fab. As always, I hope you're having a good day. We're gonna do a vinyl install, so let me check the temperature. Of course, I always get a message when I'm checking the temperature so I can't see it. It is 70 degrees here in North Fort Myers. Not bad for January and a high of 78, it looks like. Yeah, it's kind of looking like it's gonna be a warm day, actually. I've already started this install. I just wanted to go through some of the tips with you guys. Make sure this entire area is clean before you install it. This is our dash overlay. Of course, the Bronco Raptor has like this silvery dash. I know the Heritage has a different color, but our Bronco Badlands, it does have a darker, kind of blacker, kind of grayish metallic, I think, uh, dash. So it'll blend in a little bit better. I tried to cover all this up and then use heat to push it into the letters, but I found out that it doesn't really look that good. And then you would have to reinstall letters to get Bronco on your dash. So I went ahead and made this cutout. I've been using Sticker Fab application fluid to break up that initial tack with the adhesive and then using a felt tip squeegee. All of this can be found on our website. Of course, the ideal weather to do this in is 75 to 85 degrees, but since this vinyl's inside, if it's really cold in your area, go on a trip with the vinyl in your vehicle and then do the install. So your cabin will be warm, your vinyl will be warm, and you'll be good to go. Just make sure if you continue to run the vehicle and keep that heat on, turn your vents away from you so it doesn't blow the vinyl, and also make sure that you're doing it in a well-ventilated area. Don't go into your garage, run your vehicle, get carbon monoxide poisoning. But after you clean this area off, you can spray it with that second fab application fluid, and you can spray the back of the vinyl, and then you start applying it. Pretty much, I went right up to the top. I made this straight line. This trim piece kind of moves around and depending on your vehicle, it might be installed a little higher, a little lower, or you might have some slight warping, might not have a completely straight line. But then we'll be working our way down and we'll use heat in this corner because it starts to curve away. So definitely keep a heat gun or a hair dryer on hand. These are on our website only 13 bucks. They can be plugged into your AC inverter if you have one in the back of your Bronco, or you can use a small battery pack that at least has 300 watts of output. Another thing we did with this design is I pretty much went on pictures of deployed airbags and I figured out where the cutout needs to be. So we have it kind of perforated in that area of the airbag because I didn't want it to throw the whole vinyl at you or rip kind of in a strange way if that airbag should unfortunately have to deploy. Let me set this tripod up and show you the rest of my install. All right, so like I said, I put it up here and then I started working my way back down. And then right here where it was trying to bunch up, I just made sure that it wasn't going to do that. Run your finger along there and make sure you have a perfect rectangular cutout. We can squeegee the top out. Pretty much everywhere it's fine above this line, go ahead and squeegee out. You can use your fingers to push it down firmly because adhesive activates with pressure and heat. Two key components. You can get some of the water out by going up and then get the rest of the water out by going down. Let's start making our way back down. Let's do the middle first. Push that out to the side. Now in this corner is where I will apply my heat. Who didn't clean very well in this corner. You can see a little buildup of something bumpy. I don't know what I would have had in that corner. I'm gonna lift it, I'm gonna spray, kinda of run my finger on there, try to clean it out. Might not get it all, but should be better. Yeah, definitely better. I'll use some heat and I'll push that down in a second to get the creases out from where I pulled it up. A little something, something right there. First I'll use pressure and no heat. Let that dry out a little bit. 
grab my heat. Light heat. I am able to relax that corner where I pulled up on the vinyl. As I always say, if the heat burns you, then it's probably too hot for the vinyl. We're not trying to be a professional wrap installer here. We're just trying to apply light heat. Just enough to get it to stick. A little light heat in this area. Push it. Stretch that vinyl over the corner so it'll lay down. Heat to dry it out. Then once more. Pressure to activate. Thing about vinyl is you spread it out and that's how you get to stick and adhere the best. So you kind of want to not just push it in one direction, kind of equally spread it out over an area. So now we have this down. All we have to do is get the bottom to stick. A lot of water build up right there. Gravity has done its job and pulled it down. So we'll try to get that water out from under there. If I didn't mention earlier, you can use one drop of dish soap or one drop of hand soap mixed in a, with a cup of water if you don't have Sigafab application fluid. But believe me, if you get the application fluid, you'll be a lot happier. Comes with a nice little spray bottle and it's already the right mixture for any vinyl install. So keep on working this, get all of that liquid out. And then just apply heat and keep on doing this. And then if you have any excess in the bottom, you just use that squeegee to push it in between the trim. And there you have it. So as always on the very end, we give you a little once over of the cabin. Knocked out a lot of that silver in this Bronco Raptor. And as mentioned earlier, some of you guys will have different color dashes. It'll blend in quite nicely with those. For more information about this product, please visit our website at sickerfab.com. Please like this video. Subscribe to my YouTube channel if you've not already, and hit that bell notification icon for the latest and greatest things we're coming out with for the 2021 and up Ford Bronco.